Hey everyone, today we're diving into some exciting news for all the Linux enthusiasts out there. The Linux Mint 22 beta is almost here as ISO testing gets underway. So let's get into all the details and what you can expect from this upcoming release. All right, so um, in the past, Canonical would push out Ubuntu in April and October, and Linux Mint releases would usually follow just a month later in May and November. This time around, though, the Linux Mint 22 cycle has been a bit slower. This delay is likely due to the wait for Cinnamon 6.2, which um, got released recently. As many of you know, Cinnamon is the primary desktop environment for Linux Mint. So, according to the Linux Mint community website's ISO Images page, the Mint 22 Cinnamon Edition ISO began testing about 17 hours ago, and um, it's still being tested. If this test passes, we should see a few other spins being tested, and then, a couple of days later, the beta should be released. The beta testing will go on for a couple of weeks, during which any bugs will be identified and fixed before the final release is made available. Now, Linux Mint 22 is a new major version of Mint. The last version was 21.3, which was based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. That's now two years old. But with Linux Mint 22, we're switching to Ubuntu 24.04 LTS as the base. This means, um, we should see newer software software packages, better support, and, uh, more stability. This version, along with the successive point releases every six months, will be supported for five years until 2029. That's a pretty long time, which is great for those who want a stable, long-term solution. Now, I know Linux users have a bit of a reputation for um, distro hopping, you know, frequently switching between different Linux distributions. But if you've reached a stage where you just want to settle on one distro and actually be productive, then Linux Mint is a fantastic choice. The long support cycles mean you can... Um, Focus on your work without constantly needing to upgrade or switch. When the beta gets released in the next week or so, we should have a list of new features to share with you directly from the Linux Mint team. And, um, there will be download links too in case you decide to try out the beta on your machine. However, it's probably best to only install it on secondary machines in case there are any serious bugs. As I mentioned before, the final release usually arrives after about two weeks of beta testing. So, there you have it. The Linux Mint 22 beta is on its way, and we're all excited to see what new features and improvements it brings. Stay tuned for more updates, and um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.